Rumors are that allegedly Carlos King and Candy are at war with one another. What's going on? And who is winning the war so far? I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more right after this. What's up, kinfolk? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you will know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. Alright, kinfolk. Come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly Carlos King and Candy are at war with one another. How did this war start? And who's currently winning? Well, I have some new information that may answer all of those questions and more. And here it goes. Rumors are that producer Carlos King and Candy Burris are allegedly back quietly beefing with one another. Industry insiders say behind the scenes, it's no secret that Candy and Carlos do not get along and are borderline hardcore enemies. The insider says, it's not like a Jordan versus LeBron competitive beef, it's more of a Nikki versus Cardi beef, where people are not quite sure how the beef started, but they know and can see that there is definitely tension there. Another source says that the source of their drama is clear and allegedly started when it was rumored that Carlos was the person who fed Phaedra the lie about Candy, Todd, and their dungeon. However, other insiders say the beef between the two started much sooner when Candy allegedly complained to the network regarding some alleged, sneaky, and disrespectful filming tactics by Carlos. So, the question is, what happened recently that allegedly sparked the two back to beefing? Well, recent comments made by Carlos where he stated a particular housewife should stop trying to be the Beyonce of Bravo with all of her spinoffs. Many figured that Carlos may have been talking about Candy even though he didn't name a particular housewife. Some industry insiders say that this could have rubbed Candy the wrong way because during the time of the comment, Candy was in the process of closing two new spinoff deals with the network. The insider said, Carlos, behind the scenes knowledge of this, made it seem as if he was throwing hate on Candy's new deal. Another insider said, Carlos' dislike for Candy runs deep. Although it wasn't Candy who ultimately got him fired from Bravo, some say he may feel like she was a contributing factor. Also, Carlos has alleged beef with Candy's husband, Todd, that some say may make it harder for him to actually get along with Candy. For now, sources say Carlos and Candy wouldn't and couldn't be more farther apart personally and professionally as they are now. Rumors are that Carlos not only wants to dethrone Andy, but also Candy when it comes to being the new king of reality TV production. However, some think that his frustration with Candy is unlike his frustration with Andy. She is much harder to dethrone, said the source. Her work ethic is unmatched and insane. And it also laps Carlos by miles. So for now, it seems as if Candy is currently winning this reality TV war. Now, kinfolk, I'll be honest with you. When I first heard this rumor, it all made sense. And here's why. When you look at the current landscape of reality TV, and when you look at the landscape of successful reality TV shows that are on right now, the top reality TV shows are either one, starring a majority all-black cast, or two, being um, ran, produced, and have by a black person or has a black person at the helm. 
And when you dig, dig deeper and further to that landscape, there are only maybe three or four black producers who are producing all of those shows combined. And then when you look even further, there are really only three recognizable names. That's Candy, Mona, and Carlos. Now, when you dig deeper into that pool, in terms of the type of reality TV um, that is successful right now, and the programs that are more successful along the lines of an older demographic who has more uh, earning power and spending power, then the only two names you're left with, Candy and Carlos. Now, I do agree with my source when, he's, when, when they say this. On the surface, this beef can look like a Jordan versus LeBron beef. Both are very good powerhouses. Both are very knowledgeable about what they're doing and what they bring to the reality TV show landscape. Two black individuals doing great things for reality TV and for the people who they're hiring and help produce. However, if you're a fan of The Real Housewives of Atlanta and know the history of the two, then this is where the beef turns from a Nikki to a Cardi beef. It all starts, as my source is saying, that it's something that started years ago. One with Candy making a comment that a particular producer and their sneaky filming practices was something that she wasn't too fond of. Many people speculated that it was Carlos who she was talking about. So, people think that there is where the beef started, which in turn made it easier for Carlos to allegedly feed Phaedra, if you are to believe the rumors, because it's all speculating, and he's also denied this. However, if you take that information that Candy was rumored to not like uh, Carlos' uh, production uh, tactics, then one can see how Carlos may have felt very comfortable we're feeding Phaedra that alleged story about Candy, which further rubbed her the wrong way. Now, that's if you're looking at it from a speculation standpoint and how that relationship could have turned sour and probably did turn sour. Because a lot of people say that Carlos wasn't fired from the network, but he was actually decided to leave after that big melee. But then you couple that with the fact that he made this new comment about particular housewives trying to uh, be the Beyonce of Bravo with their spinoffs. And then that's where the rumored drama really takes hold. And it takes hold because if you look at the landscape of Bravo, right now there's only really one person who's garnering all the spinoffs. And that's Candy. The only person who's garnering spinoffs right now on the network is Candy. So basically, that's the target. Even though he didn't name any names, he left a lot to the imagination. So, Kim Folk, with this war right now, I want to know who do you think is currently winning? Now, I'm inclined to believe that right now, Carlos and Candy are pretty much neck and neck when it comes to producing reality television shows. And not only that, but producing successful reality TV shows. Now, some say it's Candy because she's more universally known. And some say it's uh, Carlos because his reality TV programming has a little bit more depth to it. But I want to know what you guys think in the comments section below. Who do you think is winning this reality TV show war? Is it Carlos or is it Candy? Alright, Kim Folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment. And I'll see you guys over on the next one. Peace.